Panels and hatches are an essential part of trains. I mean, think of it. What train doesn't have them in some shape or form? They are used for many things, be it ventilation, fuel, windows, maintenance, brakes, engines, motors, or even just bodywork. It's essential for all of these to be properly attached or closed when you set off, right? Well, on one fateful day in 2020, it didn't go to plan. On the 21st of July 2020, Pacific National Freight Train 3WB3 was travelling from Port Kembla, New South Wales to Brisbane, Queensland, pulled by three locomotives, NR76, LDP004 and NR68 with 34 steel wagons. At the same time, heading south was NSW Trainlink Service C181, a Kayama-bound South Coast Line service operated by Outer Suburban Set H41, consisting of cars OD6984, ON5941, and ONL5990, and OD6981, carrying 30 to 40 passengers at the time. At 7.12pm, train 3WB3 was stopped at a red signal north of Loftus Station. H41 had just left Sutherland Station bound for its next stop, Helensburg. At 7.18, H41 rounds the bend into Loftus Station, and as it passes the freight, it happened. The driver hears a loud smashing sound and slams on the emergency brakes, stopping inside of Loftus station. The driver gets up and inspects what's happened. The right hand side of the cab is completely smashed, as well as a passenger door window. Doors 1 and 3 have been dislodged and pulled out from the train. Miraculously, no one is injured or dead. Then at 7.20, the freight train, oblivious to what just happened, starts up and just leaves towards Sutherland. The driver of H41 contacts Network Control and tells them what just happened. Network Control notifies 3WB3 to stop at Ginelli and inspect the train. However, when they get there, the driver only inspects one side of the train, so no problem can be found. They start up again, but when they reach Como, they discover what the culprit for the smash was, a loose air filter hatch on NR68. The ATSB conducted an investigation into the collision. In it, they found that in three prior inspections of NR68 by UGL Rail, the air filter hatch was noted as not being required to be opened. After a review of the CCTV footage, it was shown that at Port Kembla, where it departed from, the hatch was fully closed. By the time the train reached Helensburg, the hatch was fully open and laying flat against the body of the locomotive. When passing through Loftus, the hatch appeared to be in a partially closed position. Where the loco stopped, it was impossible to tell if it was opened or closed. The unsecured air filter hatch on NR68 probably opened after passing Loftus or was drawn outwards by the air pressure associated with the passing of H41 when it was struck. At Port Kembla, there was a roll-by inspection, however the loose hatch was not identified. The NR-class locos have hatches that are not in accordance to current standards, and the hatches are hard to differentiate between secure and unsecure. In the end, Pacific National and UGL would undergo much more rigorous inspection of the NR fleet's air vents and the risk of hatches if they were to swing out during operation. The NR class would be equipped with a secondary latch to the air filter in the coming years. Pacific National would end up losing the Port Kembla steel contract by the end of 2021, with the final WB3 steel train being led by NR97, LDP0007, 9323 and 8102, who had served as the Port Kembla Charter for many years. H41 was repaired and put back into service, and still runs to this day. This accident had a well-resolved solution and proves how committed to safety Pacific National and UGL Rail really is. Thankfully, an accident like this will never happen again.